Hey guys, this is Ankit and welcome to the Google Cloud Platform Task Series. We are doing a list of basic tasks to get ourselves familiar with Google Cloud Provider, that is GCP. We are following the DevOps Engineer and SRE Learning Path, which is also available at cloudskillspost.google/path. You can always refer to my repository, the Cloud Terminal Zero One Slash Learn Hyphen DevOps to get more details. For today's task, we have the following objectives. First, we will configure a custom network with VPC prologs. We will create Apache web server. We will verify that the network traffic is locked. We will then export the network traffic to BigQuery to further analyze the logs. Finally, we will add VPC prolog aggregation. The total amount of time we'll be spending will be around 11 to 14 minutes. So let's begin. Let's start with our first subtask. We will configure a custom network with VPC prologs. So I'll go to VPC networks. Create a network. Let's create a subnet. We want the region to be US Central One. Let's give the IP address range as this. We want the flow logs to be on. Click on Done, and then Create. Now let's create firewall rules. So I'll go to firewall. Create firewall rule. Let's give the details from here. We want to allow HTTP and SSH traffic. This should be in VPC net, and the tag should be. HTTP server. If we want to open it for internet, let's allow TCP protocol and port should be twenty two and eighty. Click on create. So our firewall rule is getting created. Now let's create our Apache web server. So I'll go to Compute Engine, VM Instances, create an instance. We want the name to be Web Server. It should be in US Central One, and zone should be US Central One C. Let's go for N1 series and F1 micro machine type. Let's go to advanced options, networking, and add a networking tag of HTTP server. For the network interfaces, we want this to be in network VPC net, and subnet should be this. Let's keep everything as default and create. Our instance is created. Let's SSH into the instance and install Apache 2 package. First, I'll run sudo apt-get update. Then let's install this package.
let's create a default web page let's exit from here so this is my public ip so let's go to login and check whether the networking traffic is being logged or not so i'll go to all products login Let's go to log name and we want to see VPC flow logs. So click on apply. So these are our VPC flow log events. Let's see if we have any event from my public IP. So there is no event let's check if there is any event at all in any of the logs available so we have these few events we can expand the nested fields as well so this is the caller ip which is my public IP. Now let's start exporting the logs to BigQuery. I'll clear this. Let's select the resource as subnetwork. Click on apply. Let's select log name again. We want VPC flow logs. Click on apply. We will want to ship the, these logs to BigQuery. So let's go to more actions and create sync. Let's give the sync name as BigQuery VPC flow logs. BigQuery data set create a new BigQuery data set. Let's give the data set ID as BigQuery VPC flows again. Create data set. Click on next. And these are the logs we selected initially. Click on next again. Create sync. Now let's generate some traffic from our cloud shell to our Apache web server instance. So I'll go to VM instances and copy the public IP. Let's save it here. Let's, let's export this environment variable. Set the environment variable to this one and now let's generate some traffic let's wait for this to get completed now this is completed let's start visualizing the logs in BigQuery Let's see which all tables are available. We have compute Google APIs com VPC flows table available. These are the schema details. And this is the associated preview. Let's click on query and let's 
run a query over here. I'll delete this and let's run this query to analyze traffic. Let's get the table ID from here. So our query is okay now. So let's run it. This is the result. Now let's change this query to identify the top IP address that has exchanged traffic with Apache web server. So I will copy this. Copy the table ID again. And let's run. So this is the top IP address. I believe this is the IP address of the Google Cloud Shell because Google Cloud Shell is the place where we ran this traffic. Let's move on to our next subtask where we will add VPC flow logs aggregation. So I'll go to VPC net, click on the VPC subnet, click on edit. configure logs let's change the aggregation interval to 30 seconds and sample rate to 25 percent and we see that the estimated loss generated per day will be reduced by 50 percent let's click on save so this completes all of our subtasks that's it for today's video See you in the next one.